what's up soulmates and welcome back once again to the channel how are you today hopefully you are good guys in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to get some basic measurements through formulas okay so we are going to be calculating them and using our formulas we are going to get those measurements in a case where you forget to take it from your client so this video is very very beginners friendly okay so if you are a beginner these calculations and formulas are going to help you a lot as a beginner so i'll advise you watch this video till the end so now going into the video um i'm going to start with my shoulder measurements okay so in a case where you forget to measure your client's shoulder measurement what are you going to do so the thing you are going to do since you've collected the client's um, bust measurements right you are going to divide the bust by six then you add 1.5 to it that will give you your shoulder measurement so take for instance that the bust measurement is 40 so we divide 40 by 6 plus 1.5 so we are going to do that with our calculator whatever we got we are going to add 1.5 inches to it and that will give us our final answer so as you can see now i have 8.1 approximately 8.2 so if you are to take in your shoulder measurement i would advise you take eight inches as this client's shoulder measurement or if you still want you can take 8.25 and you still not go wrong so this is it for the shoulder measurement so now guys the second formula is for the armhole depth so we are going to be doing the calculation for the armhole depth so take for instance that you've already measured your clients and your clients shoulder measurement is 16 it could be 17 it could be 18 depending on body size okay so now what you're going to do is to divide 16 inches by 2 or if it is 17 you still divide it by 2 so now dividing 16 inches by 2, we are going to get 8 inches, right? So in a case of shoulder measurement of 17 inches, when you divide it by 2, you are going to get 2.5 inches. Sorry, you are going to get 8.5 inches, okay? All right. So now the next measurement we are going to calculate is for the boss cup size. Yes, boss cup size. This is for the under boss tightening. You can also use it for your over boss tightening. Okay, so um, for your boss cup size, what you are going to do is your boss circumference minus your under bus circumference divided by two okay so in this case my bus circumference is 40 inches minus 36 inches okay that will give me four then when i divide four inches by two that will give me two so now these two inches is what i will be adding to the center side of my front bodies okay did you get that the center side of my front body is not the center front so i'm just going to illustrate for you guys so i are going to understand what i'm what i'm trying to explain now guys moving forward i'm going to be using this piece of paper this paper here as my pattern okay so now i'm trying to create the neckline this is the neckline and this is the shoulder slope and this is for your armhole depth and that is your chest line okay 
so this is just kind of creating a basic bodies pattern so this is just a rough work i'm just illustrating okay so i have my chest line i have my bust line and i also have my under bust line and i will take the lower part here as my waist line okay so now the next thing i'm going to do is to insert my nipple to nipple measurement so i'm just assuming i'm just marking in okay just for illustration sake so that line is my nipple to nipple measurement that's your boss palm measurement okay so at the boss point line you are going to come down by one inch okay this is for um people that has maybe bust circumference of 40 inches or thereabout but if you have below you can take half inch okay so so guys as i was still explaining you notice that i made a mark at the under bust line so the mark i took there is the two inches for the center side like i told you guys earlier you, you are going to take two inches at the center side right under the bust there okay. so after that at the center front you are going to mark one inch note that one inch is standard okay so now i'm going to use my armhole to connect from the one inch point below the bust point line to my under bust and from there i'm going to connect it down to my waistline i'll do the same thing at the center front i also use my armhole <coughs> sorry I'm hook curve to connect it like this. Can you see? So this is for the under boss tightening. Okay, so you go in and mark in your necessary measurements like this, and that will be it for the boss cup size and how to apply it. Okay, so we are done with this. So guys, number four, we are going to be looking into the boss palm measurement. How to get the boss palm measurement. So you don't have to go and start measuring your client's nipple to nipple. You know, touching the client's nipple to nipple just to get the boss palm. Okay, so with this formula, you are going to derive the boss palm of your client. Just by taking your boss measurement of your client you divide it by eight then you minus one inch from that so now i have mine as 40 divided by eight okay i'm going to have five inches then i'll minus one from the five inches and i have four so now for a bus size of 40 inches the bus pan is four inches okay now for clarification's sake when you are marking your bust pan on your fabric you are going to mark 4.5 inches why on your pattern you are going to mark in four inches okay so the next measurement is the crotch so now for your crotch depth you are going to divide your hip circumference by four whatever you get that will serve as your crotch depth so my hip measurement is 40 inches. When I divide 40 into 4, I'm going to get 11 inches. So this will serve as my crotch depth for trousers and for shorts. You don't apply this to jumpsuits, okay? Please take note. Alright, so the next measurement, that's number 6, that we are going to be looking into is the sleeve caps height, okay? So now for your sleeve caps height, you are going to divide your bust measurement by 6, sorry by 12. You divide your bust measurement by 12 and you add 1 inch to it. Okay, so that will give you your caps height. So take for instance, I'm bust 40 and I divide 40 by 12. Okay, I got 3.3. 3. 
so adding one inch to it that will give me 4.3 inches okay so you can just take four inches as your cap's height or you can take 4.25 and you will be fine all right so if you've watched so far dear students, do not forget the law of like and subscribe please like this video so that more people will see this video okay it really helps us okay if you like the video just give me a thumbs up all right so our last measurement the last but not the least is the amount of that to take so amount of that to take uh, for your front and for your back bodies now i'm talking in a case of gown when you're sewing gown okay so so the measurement from my shoulder to my hip line is 26 inches okay i'm going to write that down and the measurement from my shoulder to my chest line is eight inches so i'm going to put that aside bearing it in mind okay so because this is not the final calculation so i'm just illustrating for you guys so i'm taking this as my pattern right so i'm marking in my hip line waistline bust line and also the chest line okay so from there you are going to measure from the shoulder line okay down to your um chest line my chest line is eight inches so from that eight inches if i come down by one inch that will give me nine so i'm going to keep that nine aside i'll hold it down now you know why marking that at the hip line you are going to come up by two inches right then you now take your half half inch by the side at your that line or one, one inch depends on you and they are going to connect from that point where you come down by one inch from your chest line to the point where you went up by two inches from your hip line right that's the illustration you can pause this video at this point to read meaning to the illustration okay if i'm too fast or you are not getting me or you can also replay to get the video so now i'm just going to forge ahead with the calculation so i'm going when after doing all these things i have 24 and 9 so when you minus 24 inches from 9 inches that will give you 15 inches and this will serve as the dart for the back so now guys for the front bodies before i show you the illustration let me just quickly explain that so from your shoulder line you are going to come down by one inch after your bust line okay so me my bust line is 10.5 when i come down one inch after my bust line that will give me 11.5 right so from that 11.5 you now connect it to where you have marked um two inches above your hip line okay so that's how you are going to get your front that so guys this is the illustration for the front bodies that came i came down by one inch after my bust line okay and i connect to my waistline this is in a case where you want to dart a half length um bodies okay so you connect to your waistline but if it is a gown you are going to connect to your waistline and from there to two inches above your hip line so that is how you are going to take your dart for your front bodies fabric or pattern whatever you are working with if you don't understand this particular part i would advise maybe you replay it for better understanding okay 
so now i'm going to write down our measurements okay so it will be clearer so now remember from shoulder to hip line 26 minus 2 that gave us 24 inches now you, you are going to minus that 24 inches from 11.5 okay you minus sorry you minus 11.5 inches from the 24 inches and that will give us 12.5 so 12.5 is the dart for your front bodies please give this video a thumbs up and also click on the notification bell for more detailed videos